Paul and I learn more about PFSense. We like it even more and more, and we want to pass some of the things that we have learned together here. So let's say that the exercise that we want to do is to expose a web server. Let's say that in this particular case is the Curator console that is on this IP address, internal IP address that is, on my secure network. We want to expose that to the public IP. So if I'm somewhere else and I do HTTPS colon slash slash put my public IP and then I'm, we're going to use for this instead of port 443 we're going to use 4443 and then I'm going to be hitting this particular server directly. That's what port forwarding is all about. First of all before I proceed from the security standpoint this is very dumb. You should not do this, uh, like exposing your curator console, but say that this is a demo you want to do, want to use the out of, uh, am I affected service of the X-Force, or, or you want to do some experiments in doing uh, API calls, whatever it is the reason. So you want to expose that address on that port outside here. Uh, when I'll do the, the next video, which is how you do this with a VPN, that's the secure way of doing this. But again, this is just to show you how you do port forwarding because I don't think it is quite evident in PFSense. So in PFSense when you do firewall, NAT, notice that there's no you know an option of port forwarding automatically. When I think I believe that when you put the first rule is when this thing port forward shows up. But basically what we are doing is, in, is we are saying hey on my one interface that's the one that hits my public IP anything that comes from protocol TCP on port 4443 send it to this internal IP address 105 on the same port it can be a different port it doesn't have to be the same but just uh, an example and the description that we put in here was exposed curator console in fact I can edit this and show you that basically this is what we what we did notice that I did this I am the admin on this console and this is uh, the, the log saying that I did this the first time and I updated it at that particular time. Once you save that and you apply the changes, the interesting thing is that, in fact, let's actually go back here. Notice that this icon in here shows that this is a link rule, which means that after you have applied this, automatically PFSense will create another rule on your firewall rules, and it is this one in here. Okay, and that's what that is a link rule. It's actually edited to show you a couple of things. Not only that it took the same uh, title and added the word NAT, right? The, the same description and added the word NAT. So notice that if I go and edit this one and I try to, I don't know if you can see it on the recording, but when if I try to add, modify any of these things, I get, a, it's not a grayed out, but kind of a you, you, prohibited sign. So I cannot modify any of this because this was automatically created and is linked to the other one and that's how port forwarding gets achieved and notice that it said that it's being created by NAT port forward and that's how port forwarding works if you have that running on some VMware and you're using the the VMnet 8 of the NAT to subsequently go to another network then you need to go into this uh, actually on the library preference VMware Fusion, this is on, on the Mac, uh, VMnet 8 and modify the NAT.com file in there and that makes, when you save it, that makes the changes on the networking file. Again, I hope that this, in case that you ever need to do port forwarding in PFSense, this helps you know how to do that.